Hello, I'm Teacher Elena and nandito ko ngayon para turuan kayo kung paano gumawa ng email as contact info for your teachers for school use this coming semester. So, number one is choose an email provider. So, Pipili tayo ng website kung saan gagawa tayo ng email addresses natin. So, most um, common na ginagamit is Yahoo or Gmail. Pero, mas preferred ko is Gmail. So, bakit Gmail? Kasi yung Gmail account or yung Gmail address na gagawin nyo, pwede nyo magamit once na yung teacher ninyo is gumamit ng Google Classroom. And at the same time, meron pa itong kasamang Google Drive. So, yung Google Drive ay isang halimbawa ng Google uh, Cloud Storage. So, itong si Gmail, Google Classroom, and Google Drive, magkakamag-anak sila under ng Google Apps. So, once na meron ka ng Gmail account, pwede ka nang gumamit ng Google Classroom and Google Drive. Number two, create a formal address. So, bakit formal address? Di syempre dahil gagamitin natin ito sa school. So, huwag na natin gamitin yung mga email addresses na prettyme at gmail.com or pogiako at yahoo.com. So, tip is to use your surname followed by the initials of your first name and middle name. You can add the initials of your school and year you enroll. So, example ko is, halimbawa, yung name ko, Bartolome, and yung initials ng aking first name and middle name, MEC, period, yung initial ng school, so MPC, for example, and then 2020, kung year ako nag-enroll this time. So, pag na-create na yan, ang kabuoan yan is bartolome.mpc mec.mpc2020 at gmail.com So, halimbawa naman, meron kayong kapangalan dun sa school ninyo as in parehong-pareho kayo ng surname pati initials na first name and middle name. Siguro that's the time na pwede nyo dagdaga ng number after yung initials na middle name. So, for example, dito, Bartolome MEC1 dot MPC2020 at gmail.com Number 3, so, fill out the sign-up form with your real name. So, dun sa pag sa sign-up natin sa gmail account, ilalagay natin yung totoong pangalan natin. Siyempre, for easier identification ng teacher nyo or kung sino pa man sa school ninyo na mag email sa inyo at kapag kayo naman ang nag-reply, ma-identify agad nila na kayo yun. Okay? So, those are the tips na masashare ko sa inyo. And then, of course, do not forget the password nyo created nung nag-sign up kayo na no? inyo email. And, check your emails regularly. Kasi napansin ko na most students na nag-enroll dun sa school, nakalimutan na nila yung kanilang password. So, siguro yung mga email addresses na yun, ginamit lang nila just to create a Facebook account at never nilang chinect yung email or ginamit yung email. So, ngayon, kasi, isa na talaga siya sa mga main contact impost na gagamitin natin sa school. Kaya dapat, alam natin yung password at mag-check tayo lagi sa ating emails. And then, last, treat your emails like your own home address because it is how your teachers will contact you in this new normal aside from other apps or devices. So, gaya nga na nabanggit ko kanina, ito na talaga yung new normal natin. So, isa doon ay ang paggamit na natin ng emails regularly to check yung mga
to send sa atin ang ating mga teachers or ng school aside dun sa Facebook, Messenger, and sa um, cellphone numbers natin. So, um, i-treat natin yung emails natin like our own home address. So, yun yung mga tips na maibibigay ko sa inyo on how to create email for school use. So, kung meron pa kayong mga topics na gusto malaman, i-comment nyo lang sa baba. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.